Hi, I just, this message today is, I don't know, I'm just kind of filled with the spirit of joy today. And it can only be God because, I don't know, I've woken up today. <clears throat> yes, I've got a lot of problems like everybody. <clears throat> but, you know, there's this financial struggle and this economy. But the Lord has woken me up today with a real feeling of, it's okay. Everything, well, everything's not okay in this world, I know. But when we've got faith, it's okay. Right. So what I want to say today is my message that I want to say is I want to make an announcement. And the announcement I want to make is that... I am not, sorry to say this, but I am not a failure, <laughs> not by any means. And what I want to say is that the Lord is so good. The, right, listen, Jehovah God, he is so good. And how I, how I mean is that, Right. The devil may have been trying to break me. Right. And what I want to say is whatever the devil has been using and whomever the devil has been using to try and break me. Jehovah God is so good, and he's so good that he uses what the devil uses to try and break us. And because we have faith in the Lord, Jehovah God will use that to build you. So it kind of pushes you more into praying, more into relying and believing on God, because we have to be completely reliant on God because you know when we're coming up against all these forces of evil and wickedness coming against us then obviously that's going to push us more into prayer more into the word and more into trusting God so <clears throat> what I want to say today is God is God is so good. Jehovah God is, he is so good. He's, the Lord is good. And he will even allow you or I to go through certain trials and tribulations so that he can use that to build us. So what the devil sent to destroy us Jehovah God didn't let that happen. He didn't let it, he let, he allowed the sort of whatever to go on, the evil to go on around us, but he didn't allow us to be destroyed by it. Because remember, faith is our shield. So whatever darts, whatever darts that they've been throwing at us, you know, fiery darts of the enemy, God has always been there. The faith, the shield of faith has always been there to repel those darts so number one Jehovah God and the faith has been repelling those darts <clears throat> and also what the devil has used to try and tear me down or to 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 try and bring me down God has in fact turned it around for my good and used it to build me up now, I just want to say that not that evil is good. I'm not, I'm not condoning evil. I'm not saying that evil is good because it's not. But sometimes you, you want to think that if it wasn't for your enemies doing the things and saying the things or perhaps saying things or 
whatever they've been, however they've been pushing you so much, if it wasn't for them pushing you, then you wouldn't have gone right into the faith and fallen at the foot of the cross, crying out to God for help. So in some ways, not that I condone evil, but your enemies have actually done you good by pushing you, pushing you more into prayer, pushing you, you know, like they've actually pushed you to the foot of the cross. Yeah. I mean, whether they realized they were doing that or not, but that's what they've done. They've pushed you to the foot of the cross and you've gone there asking the Lord to forgive you for all your wrongs and errors like I've sat before in spirit at the foot of the cross asking God to forgive you of all your sins and errors and um, asking to be born again now also we are also pushing our enemies to go to the foot of the cross and repent so it's kind of a bit of both you know they've been pushing us and driving us into despair pushing us to the foot of the cross begging God for help and now we've got the faith and we've got God on our side we're now telling them go to the foot of the cross you better had repent and ask God for forgiveness so it seems like really everyone's pushing everyone to the foot of the cross you know in some way but yes God always turns things out for good so sometimes when it seems like evil is being used against us like I was sort of saying today like this slander campaign that the devil and all of those that have been used of the devil to kind of speak or act against me it's not destroyed me actually God has used it to build me up and also it was dropped into my spirit today or so I don't know if it was the Holy Spirit he said in the end they will get bored of the slander campaign to be honest it is I'm completely bored about it it's like old news that's just it's boring and if I'm finding it boring don't you think that my enemies and they're gonna get bored of it in the end they're gonna be like you know what this is really boring just gossiping and slandering about someone it's boring so the Holy Spirit let me know that in the end they're gonna give it up they're gonna get bored of it because it's old news it's boring he said I think it was the Holy Spirit he says your enemies will get bored of that slander campaign even they're gonna get bored of it just as I'm bored of it just as Jehovah God is tired of it all as well God will cause them to become tired of this slander campaign that they're doing against me they will become tired of it because in the end they're gonna be like you know what this is not doing anything good for us is not doing anything good for her it's not doing anything good for anyone so I just want to say that I thank God every day for whatever the devil has used against me to try and destroy me it's not working because what's what it's doing is my faith has now got stronger and stronger and stronger so anyone that wants to continue this nonsense I say bring it on because all you're doing guys is making me pray more making me fast more and making me have more belief in the Lord Jesus Christ so bring it on <laughs> thank you Heavenly Father thank you for using that campaign and everything that was against me that was used to destroy me thank you Lord for turning it around and for making it um, force me into prayer and fasting 
and believing in you more, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you used what was being used against me to actually build and strengthen me. So this is my message to all of you that are going out into this world and you're coming into a hostile environment or people are, you know, whatever, slanders. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because remember the words of Christ. Jesus, remember what Jesus said. He said, he said, count it all joy when you go through various trials and tribulations. Didn't Jesus say that? He said that. So, I'm going to count it as all joy. And I'm going to go out into this world and I am going to have joy. Because that's what my Lord said. He said, count it as all joy. So, I'm going to have more joy. <laughs> I hope this message was received. And I hope that you're also there, you know, feeling that part of the spirit where it's teaching you and guiding you and helping you to to not be torn down and dis, to, to, to be destroyed in actual fact you should have more faith in the lord so thank you and god bless you all and i wish you all a good day thank you